take a walk along shopping malls and food districts in Singapore, and you'll likely notice more authentic Chinese eateries and grilled fish restaurants popping up in the last year. According to consulting firm Frost Sullivan, Singapore was predicted to rank first in the world with a spending average of 1,393 US dollars 1,886 Singapore dollars per person on Chinese food in 2021. That same year, it was also predicted to spend approximately 9.9 .9 billion Singapore dollars on Chinese food alone. But what are some of the reasons behind the rising popularity of Chinese cuisine in Singapore? Yohu Southeast Asia spoke with a dietitian, a food writer and some Singaporeans on why they think this food trend is on the rise. With visible long queues at food places across the country, there is no doubt that Singaporeans take their food very seriously. And with more non-local Chinese coming to a country deemed as a melting pot of cultures, it is only natural that they bring along their cuisine said Aptima Nutrition Dietitian, Declan Reutens. These include the use of different herbs, spices, oils and ingredients that are not locally found. As such, local taste buds have grown to accept other kinds of Chinese cooking, such as Sichuan cuisine, which is more spicy and leaves tingling taste buds, and soups and stews from Guangdong. Food and lifestyle writer, Marcus Leong likens the demand for grilled fish and authentic Chinese cuisine as a continuation of the craze over Chinese dish. Mola Xiang was spicy stir-fry hot pot. As Asians, we love eating steamed fish, so naturally the whole combination of mola spices and grilled fish seemed like a natural step. He said. Meanwhile, Zhou Tang, who frequents Chinese restaurants at least once a week, believes that grilled fish serves as a new option to existing Chinese cuisine, such as mola xiang guo, barbecue skewers, and regular Sichuan dishes. He also said that the peppercorn oil used in grilled fish dishes is not commonly found in non-soup-based foods. Leong said that Singaporeans generally have a love for spicy food and a preference for dishes with strong flavors. He also noted that locals prefer food with levels in texture and flavor. Authentic Chinese cuisine, such as grilled fish, pack a ton of different flavors and textures. With its ingredients and spices, Leong said. Since the mola craze over the last few years, local taste buds have evolved to embrace the numbing sensation of peppercorn and stronger flavors that are also used in grilled fish dishes. This was echoed by Ryutans, who said that Chinese cuisine and grilled fish gave Singapore's traditional local fare a spicier twist. She also pointed out Singaporeans have a unique ability to embrace new styles of cooking. If it tastes good, then demand will certainly create a supply, she said. As a flavorful dish that tastes good, grilled fish can stimulate the brain's pleasure center and make it memorable said Ryutans. When you are hungry and thinking about what to eat, chances are that your brain will remind you of previous delightful dining experience, dietitian Jacqueline Ryutans. Chinese restaurant chains have also made their effort to cater to local taste buds. Beautiful Lai, Real Fish, a sister brand of Thai Air, adjusted its menu to introduce cheese tomato, real fish, at its Singapore outlet. While the Singapore branch retained 80% of its original menu from China, such as its signature green pepper, grilled fish dish, they also offer items such as the cheese, sweet potato bake and a range of beverages catered to Singaporean tastes. The restaurant told Yahoo! As an easy sharing dish that brings people together, one can order a grilled fish topped up with some extra ingredients for it to be shared in a group said Leon. This ties in with the strong communal dining culture in Asia that is also seen in Singapore. Echoing this, Tan said that Chinese grilled fish is a go-to in his group gatherings of four and more. 
as its price point was not too expensive for social eating with friends. The rise of Chinese cuisine, like grilled fish, can also be attributed to online content showcasing the colorful ingredients used in the dishes on social media, said Reutens. This allows consumers to eat with our eyes and help spread the word, she said. While gaining popularity, Reutens pointed out that authentic Chinese cuisine such as grilled fish can be extremely high in sodium content. Due to its use of a good amount of monosodium glutamate MSG, salt and a variety of sauces. While people usually avoid drinking the chili oil, it inevitably gets absorbed and soaked in the meat. Noodles and rice in these dishes, making some dishes oily and high in fat. Ryutan suggested only selecting one deep fried or obviously oily dish when dining at these places and supplementing the meal with steamed, stir-fried or stew dishes. To maintain a well-balanced diet, diners can also order a vegetable dish for fiber intake, she said.